Hey guys, I am joined right now by the Good Brothers. Bound for Glory weekend is upon us. Uh, a lot to look forward to, a huge card. You guys are going to be defending the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championships. We know how that uh, shakes out now after this week's episode. How are you guys doing today? We're good, man. We're good. We're out here in Las Vegas already. We're pumped up for Bound for Glory. You can feel it in the air. There's a sold-out crowd on hand for this Saturday night. Uh, we were out walking around earlier. Everybody's too sweet, and everybody's getting in the mood. You can feel a vibe here for Bound for Glory, and uh, we're very excited to be here and to be a part of it. Yeah, man, it's a it's a different feel uh, with being in in Las Vegas with Impact. Like you know, we've been we've been in Nashville in the studio for over a year, and we've we've been fortunate enough to have you know worked in different places this year and and seen some really awesome live crowds. So uh, we we know what to expect um saturday man it's going to be we're we're pumped up to, to be in vegas with impact it's going to feel like a like a, a a whole new just a whole new environment and it's going to be pretty awesome you guys are, are known for you know big personalities you like the party you guys have your own whiskey wine and naturally you're you're in las vegas uh how do you prepare for this weekend? Are you are you guys hitting the tables? Are you having a nice steak dinner? Like what is what does this weekend look like for you? We love love to get to a town, and we're very very familiar with Las Vegas. Even in our personal lives, we both love it out here. But we literally been doing media all morning, inside texting each other back and forth about whether we should have sushi, Korean barbecue, a steak dinner. We got to keep the party and calm down until Saturday night when we start having those celebratory shots of sake uh but yeah man we're, we're uh we both got up got an early morning sweat knocking out this media and then planning on what to do next so yeah we like to uh our partying our quote-unquote partying has changed over the years we we uh it, we more like to sit down and find like a really awesome restaurant in one of our favorite places and like have some wine red wine like you know like gentlemen and, and and have a nice steak or sushi. And I'm, I'm not sure what's on the menu tonight because Las Vegas is all this great food. Like it has great sushi. It has great steak. We kind of want to go. They have some great Japanese restaurants. We kind of want to go to a Japanese place. It's just, there's so much, there's so much going through our brains right now. Just the, that's how we warm up for Bound for Glory. We think about all the good food out here. Yeah, uh, exactly. I, I, I can relate. Uh, you know, 10, 10 years ago, I was, going out doing a different thing and now I, I settled down i appreciate a good steak or you know some barbecue or anything you know anything like that i'm not going yeah, out, not going out drink drinking and doing shots anymore i want to enjoy the nice glass of wine or enjoy the bourbon <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the, the shots just don't the shots just don't work anymore like that that's the issue sometimes we'll take them and it's just lights out yeah. <laughs> lights out so as I mentioned, we know how this shakes out. Uh, we have a triple threat tag team title match uh, defending against Finjuice and Bullet Club's uh, Chris Bay and Hikaleo. Uh, did you guys ever think you'd be like feuding with Bullet Club? Like, you know, this was always, you know, the group and, you know, like a brotherhood. And over the past few years, we've kind of seen like some uh infighting of sorts but did you ever think it would come to this i think there's always more to it there's such a long rich history with the bullet club and it, it, it hasn't lost steam here we are talking about it and involved in a match eight years later um with something machine guns a founding member of and i showed up a couple months later so uh, i think it's an ever-going story uh there's a lot more to do uh in Impact Wrestling whether, or, or New Japan or AEW or wherever it may be next. And with this uh, proverbial foot forbidden door being open, uh, the possibilities are endless. So, I mean, you look at this Bound for Glory card, you have people representing the NWA, people representing AEW, people representing New Japan Pro Wrestling, and our strong core uh, Impact Wrestling roster all together. So, the wavelength across pro wrestling, it's pretty cool that it's all going to be highlighted on Impact Wrestling's biggest stage this Saturday night at Bound for Glory in front of a sold out crowd. Yeah, you know, we didn't start the, we didn't start the beef with Bullet Club. Like we're, you know, I, we're Bullet Club for life. And then, you know, one of the, one of the founding brothers just decided to go on, go on, go on <laughs> Twitter and, 
go on Twitter and start shooting on us. And so uh, that hurt, trust me, that wasn't planned. So, uh, no, we didn't expect it. And I, I still, you know, th- th- this is a match. I, I, I think it's a match. I still don't consider us feuding with the Bullet Club yet. And I think if we ever quote unquote feud with the Bullet Club, I think it's a big, it's going to be a big, a big time thing that's going to, that deserves a nice, long, drawn out story. I, I noticed you said yet, so we'll have to, you know, we'll have to pay attention to that and see how it plays out. Um, yep. Thought I'm a, war, I'm a wordsmith, Bill. Hey, that's true. He is. Uh, there's all this forbidden door talk. Did you know, like Bullet Club Elite? There's some complex layers to it. We just talked about, you know, perhaps feuding with the Bullet Club, and you know, seeing how this shakes out. Is that something that you look forward to at this point in your career? Like really adding depth to the work that you do on screen, not just having these big time matchups, but also see, you know, like peeling back the layers a little bit and see, you know, the stories that you can tell now. Yes. Yes. For sure. I got, I think I got, I, I've, I can still, me and, me and Gallows will sit in a room together. Like now that when, when we get a chance to be on the road, we'll sit in a room and just talk. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've thought about this bullet club feud for a, you know, a long time and how you can do it and the stories you think about. And like, there's just such a fun build. And like, even with me and Gallows, like someday, like who knows, do we have a story where we break up, you know? And like, we've, we've sit and think that's, that's the kind of stuff that gets our, that gets our like, you know, guts moving like it said and gets us excited thinking about you know having having great matches is all really cool and everything but if there's not a good story to it i just sometimes i can't get invested and so that's what uh a, a good story always gets always makes it like just like like with bound for glory like with josh alexander and the christian story like josh has been working hard to get where he's at and he's going up against this legend christian like that it gets me excited to watch this match you know you guys came to impact wrestling uh, really did a, a lot, not only for the brand itself, but for tag team wrestling in general, tag team through and through. How do you build your brand even more from you look at the work you've done in the past year, you know, just individually, like two tag team title reigns, you've been able to cross the bridge, uh, impact and AEW. You've done some work there. How do you build the, the good brothers brand even more from this point? Uh, it's ever expanding and we're always looking at new stuff, new projects, wrestling, non-related uh, to wrestling. Like, like for example, I mean, just, you know, we've been doing our talking shop podcast and then having a good time and going around the country doing that. But just this past week, we're verified on YouTube. Now we started a new uh, talking shop vlog. Uh, the first one dropped Tuesday and they're going to drop every Tuesday. Uh, but it, it's interesting because fans can follow along. Like we're actively out here, we're doing this media tour in Vegas, and we're we're filming the the lead up to Bound for Glory, and then uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna show the experience from our perspective on Bound for Glory. So I, I think that it's it's just continuing to evolve and having a ton of eyes on you, and we've done a good job with that uh, since April of 2020 of, of having a lot of eyes on us. We want to continue to do that and and keep the brand expanding, keep our Good Brothers band, brand brand. Ex- um, excuse me, expanding our talking shop brand, expanding talking shop, mania, all the stuff that we do, man. Uh, it, it's about having layers and that's what we're trying to create right now. Yeah, I, I think, um, uh, on the, I, 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 like we have that, we have a cartoon that we have, like Ella said, we have the blog that, that, that just came out and just gives us more stuff to go. And I, 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 I would love in the next, you know, couple of years would, you know, I don't want to blow our blow our steam here, but like we're in the we're in the in the in the very 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 beginning stages of writing our book. Um, we're also, you know, I I think that we want to we definitely want to create some more talking shop of mania stuff. We we want to do some movies. I mean, I, I think there's just so much that's that's going to start popping up here next couple of, and soon. One thing I did want to ask, and you kind of talked about this about you know finding interest in the stories that you tell. Uh, you guys have been able to kind of play both sides where you've been a serious tag team. You, you guys, obviously I mentioned have uh, a great sense of humor. You, you see that in some of, uh, your personas, the outside projects, you know, like, uh, talking shop of mania, you mentioned the real gimmicks. How do you view that overall? Like just trying to 
like, is it, you guys try to strike a balance? You just kind of feel, feel, you know, do what's right at the time. Like, how would you explain where you are one of the teams that really is successful at being funny, being serious and kind of play both sides without strictly adhering to one of those? I think the, the American audience getting to see the whole of our real personalities has helped us a good bit. And I think that in this day and age and the dawn of social media and, and everything that's taking place right now, you have to be a multifaceted entertainer. If you're, if you're one way all the time, you can only expand so far. So we've been lucky enough to have the opportunities given to us and to create our own where people can kind of see what rounds us out. And I, I think that, you know, Carl talked about the, the book will be coming out. Um, that That's a long-term project, but just more and more stuff like that. Like we just had badass movie night with the, with the good brothers air, uh, on Access TV this past week, all part of our, our Wrestle Week campaign at Impact Wrestling on Access TV. But doing stuff like that and stepping out of the bounds of, of things people have seen us do before is really fun for us. And, and we look forward to doing a lot more of that. I mentioned you guys have done a, a really great job of not only building yourselves, Impact Wrestling, but the tag team division back up. Is there a way that you guys can maybe help Impact's knockouts tag team division, or do you guys have any advice as far as really taking things to the next level? Because that's on the rise. Like I, I, I want to make sure I explain myself the right way, but you know, there, there's a lot of good things going on in that division. There's obviously room for growth as far as just getting more eyes on it, getting more attention on it you guys did that for the men's tag team division. Is there any, anything that you would say you could really help, you know, bring it to the next level? Well, I think bringing in the inspiration, you know, FKA and Onyx is a huge step with that because those girls are a very, very talented act. They look great. They're good at what they do. Um, and, and expanding that division is huge. I think it's a great first step. Uh, and I, I think that we say this to a lot of talent coming in, and, and, and I think we're going to see an influx of, of knockouts tag teams either being formed or brought into this company that, unlike, you know, places we've been before, having the opportunity to have some creative freedom and to be able to, you know, tailor your character to be more of your real life persona, it, it helps the, the talent, the tag teams, whatever you're going to say, uh, to reach new heights that they've never reached before. And I, I think that there's going to be big opportunity uh, for the ladies to come in and do that in the knockout tag division. And I'm super excited for the debut of the inspiration. I think it's a great addition. And I think that we have a depth of female talent here already. And it, it's making people step up to the plate. You know, people were happy when we showed up here at Slammiversary, you know, over a year ago, but uh, people have a chip on their shoulder, you know, and, and we saw a lot of people step up. And I think that's exactly what this is going to do, you know, starting to bound for glory. So it's very exciting. The Good Brothers are all set to defend their impact wrestling tag team championship triple threat match goes down at bound for glory in las vegas this saturday best of luck for you guys enjoy the week thanks very much for your time thanks appreciate you man thanks a lot